I'm sorry I could not be with you here today. However, I would like to convey my sincere thanks and appreciation first to Rotarian Nayan Patel for my introduction to the Rotary India Literacy Mission and then to the man who is leading this initiative, Mr. Shekhar Mehta. Earlier this month, I was pleased to sign an MOU between the Lumba Foundation and RILM to provide skills training to 30,000 disadvantaged widows in India, 1,000 in each of the 30 states, as well as to provide education for 2,000 children of poor widows. You may like to know why I'm supporting widows. The simple answer is that I grew up as a widow's son. When my father took his last breath, my mother's life changed dramatically. My grandmother, who herself was a widow, ordered my mother to take off jewelry, bindi, and wear white clothes only. I saw firsthand prejudices and sufferings that my mother faced as a widow. What hit me the most was that when I got married, the Pandaji who was conducting the marriage asked my mother to move away from the mandap because being a widow, she could bring bad luck to the newly wed couple. I felt angry and thought of a mother who gave me birth, a mother who brought me up, a mother who actually educated me and a mother who always wished me well. How could she bring me bad luck? This incident has always haunted me and since then I wanted to change the status of widows in India and around the world. Sadly, the issue of widowhood has been there for centuries, but no government or even the United Nations had addressed it. According to the recent research study, World Widows Report, which was conducted by the Lumba Foundation, it has come to light that there are over 259 million widows in the world. 46 million of them live in India. Many of them are struggling to survive, especially in the rural areas, where nearly 70% are living. They lose their rights to property. They are un uneducated and cannot get a job. They mostly depend upon their relatives and community who often abuse them physically, psychologically, and sexually. They suffer nothing but modern slavery. 20 years ago, in 1997, I set up a charity in memory of my mother with a focus on empowering widows and educating their children in India. Over the past 20 years, the Lumba Foundation has educated over 10,000 children of poor widows throughout India and empowered over 15,000 impoverished widows in nine states of India by providing training in tailoring and a foot-operated sewing machine to each of them. We have empowered poor widows in South Asia, across Africa, and South America. But there is a lot more to do. I am sure our partnership with RILM will help not only 30,000 widows in, in India, but also their children and family members I appeal to all the Rotarians present here to join hands with the Lumba Foundation and help poor and unfortunate widows to break the shackles of poverty and lead a life of dignity. Our flagship achievement is that I launched 23rd June as International Widows Day, which after our tireless campaigning the United Nations adopted 23rd of June as UN International Widows Day. 
23rd June is the day on which my mother became a widow in Punjab in India in 1954. We are fortunate to have received support from many high profile leaders in the world. Last year, the Honorable Prime Minister of India, Shri Narendra Modi, launched our latest project of empowering 5,000 widows in Varanasi, which is his constituency. He said at the launch, आज हमारे बीच डॉक्टर लुम्बा जी और उनकी श्रीमती जी हैं वे देश के भिन्न भिन्न भागों में और विदेशों में भी विधवाओं के कल्याण के लिए काम करते हैं कुछ समय पहले मुझे मिले थे तब चर्चा हुई थी काशी में भी विधवाओं के लिए कुछ किया जाए और तब से लेकर के उन्होंने काम शुरू किया है उस काम को बल मिल रहा है सम्मान के साथ हमारी ये माताएं बहनें जीवन गुजारा करें उस दिशा में उनका जो प्रयास है उसका मैं अभिनंदन करता हूं दोनों पति पत्नी जी जान से इस काम में लगे रहते हैं और उनको आप किसी भी जगह पे मिलोगे शादी में मिलो पार्लियामेंट में मिलो मैं अभी ब्रिटेन गया पार्लियामेंट में सब लोगों से मिल रहा था लेकिन हमारे लुम्बा जी आ गए और तुरंत विधवाओं की बात शुरू कर दी तो मैंने लुम्बा जी को कहा मुझे कहा लुम्बा जी मुझे कुछ और तो काम कर दे दो लेकिन उनके मन में ऐसा अपनी माँ के पुण्य स्मरण में उन्होंने इस काम को हाथ में लिया है बहुत मन योग से कर रहे हैं मैं उनका भी अभिनंदन करता हूं और विशेष रूप से मेरे काशी क्षेत्र की सेवा में वो हाथ बटा रहे हैं इसलिए मैं काशी के प्रतिनिधि के रूप में भी आपका आभार व्यक्त करता हूं आपका अभिनंदन करता हूं It's wonderful to see so many old friends who have supported the Lumba Foundation for many years and also some new friends. Welcome to our cause. The Lumba Trust when first founded now 1997 um was founded to educate the children of poor widows in India. Thank you for your invitation. The Shamati Pushpa Wati Lumba Memorial Trust in memory of what was obviously a very special lady and what is so important is that this family understand the problems that widows face as we increase focus on the feminization of poverty it's important to also focus on the most vulnerable women as we know millions of women around the world the tragic death of a husband is accompanied by an even harsher life they must lead after that point when a woman becomes a widow then the society collectively recognizes her status for once as she's independent the headaches are hers and she must suffer i mean th th those statistics are absolutely jaw dropping and when you take the children and their dependents into account the number swells more than a billion which is one seventh of the humanity on this planet i think what is so striking about your foundation is that when i first discovered uh, uh, about the work that you do my first question was why was that, why was this never done before and i think it was a recognition of the efforts which the lumba foundation made over the years which led to if i may say so the united nations taking a decision last year to declare 23rd june as the international day for widows and i think the credit for this goes in a very large measure to the lumba foundation thank you for the outstanding work you do every day to help widows and children in many parts of the world customs and traditions prevent widows from providing for themselves and their families. In some cultures, it's considered okay for widows to be cast out from society. In some cultures, it's considered okay for widows to be blamed for their husband's death. In some cultures, it's considered okay for a widow's brother-in-law to rape her, to cleanse her from her sins. But it isn't okay. And that is why we're here today. I am proud to be the patron and chief of the Lumba Foundation and have supported their work since 2004. What can we do? There's a lot we can do, and we shall. The secret is in working together, and we will.
if we need to change the world, we need to change something within us as well. And I hope that that will lead you to writing an even bigger check than what you thought you did. We're going to before. Thank you. Thank you again. Thank you all for coming. Thank you very, very much. Je vous remercie. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. Thank you so much. And thank you again. I love you.